So we got to really, you know, get rid of that label cancer patient and make it, no, you're not a cancer patient. You're going to be a grandfather and you're going to see your grandkids grow up and you're going to see them, you know, evolving in their life and graduating and getting married. And so that's the picture we got to paint pulling from the future, not pulling from the past and changing that labeling and changing that mindset. Welcome to another episode of the Matter Over Mind Experience. I'm your host, Master Trainer and Weight Management Expert, Narado Zico Powell. And of course, you know I bring another fantastic guest to you, right? Today I have my man, Dr. Mike Van Thielen, PhD, expert in functional medicine, fitness, nutrition, and expert biohacker. I mean, he has so much more knowledge. It would take me all day to read off how amazing this guy is. So I'll let him give you more when he actually comes on to the show. But something that really impresses me about Dr. Mike, I've always said that in today's society, we have an issue where it's like a pill for ill. You know, I have an issue. They look at your labs and based on your labs, we're going to prescribe you something. But a doctor like Dr. Mike, looks at the entire body. He looks at your personalized needs and give you those things. And that's something we, if you want to be not just a band-aid, right, for whatever issue you're going through, but if you actually want to be the best version of yourself, you need to understand your nutritional needs. You need to understand your personalized medical needs, not just at, be among a chart of what the average may may look like and of course dr mike knows that that move that average is a moving average because it may change based on so many other factors right so we have a lot of fantastic topics we're going to talk about and with that being said dr mike my man welcome to the show buddy uh glad being here thanks for having me zico thank you for being here man thank you for being here and with that being said i want to start this off with the biggest topic I may not be the biggest topic, but one of my favorite topics, biohacking, because we hear that all the time these days. <laughs> and some people for it, some people are against it. But in my opinion, as a biohacker, most people have no idea what it really is. So I'll start off with that. What is biohacking? Yeah, Zika, you're right. It's a very amorphous term, which encompasses many different applications uh, but in my dictionary, biohacking simply is upgrading the body, the mind, and life. And from a health point of view, it's objectively reversing our biological age. Because today, I believe that everybody, not just the elite, by utilizing and incorporating these biohacking tips and strategies and even technologies, that we easily can live to be 100 years, but being able to do what a 40-year-old a 40-year-old does meaning traveling hiking uh, whatever it is that you like to do so it's about increasing your lifespan reversing your biological age and so uh, that's what biohacking is in my dictionary i love that so what i'm hearing is that you're re reversing your or slowing down the biological aging process and in the meantime you're optimizing how you perform so because in today's society, it's become really commonplace, Dr. Mike, where people say, I'm around this age, it's just normal, you know, or even I'm 41 years old, and I'm an old man, and I'm, people say to me, you, don't you think you're overtraining? Your body needs to rest. But I'm like, no, no, my body doesn't need the same rest your body needs, because of how I take care of my body, and I'm a biohacker myself. And I want to impart that onto people. And that's why I have this show, and bring on experts like yourself, because we need to teach people these things, right? So I'm going to ask you a follow-up question on that, because with so that, today's norms of, you know, I'm getting older, I have these aches, these pains, or I need to rest more. Why do you think we're so stuck in that rut? Well, you know, from the day we're born, we're pushed in a certain direction, yeah? We uh, got to go to school, we got to go to college, then we got to work for somebody else till we're 65, and then there's the golden years that never come. Or it's our parents and teachers that push in a certain direction. If dad's a lawyer, they probably want to go to law school. If mom's a doctor, they're probably going to do the med school. 
but uh, we all need to take the time and stop and figure out what our purpose is and not just step into it, but unleash those superpowers and live with purpose, passion and fulfillment. So that's certainly what we need to do. But just like that, you know, we think that aging is a linear progress and that's not true either. Uh, aging is an uh, exponential progress, right? So between 20 and 30, yes, we age, but there's not much a difference in performance when it comes 20, 30. But when we get to 50 and then going to 60, there's an exponential increase in what? In uh, tissues that are damaged and things that we cannot do. And so to combat uh, aging, we need to also do that exponentially. And that's where biohacking come in. It's not just a linear process. And so what we really want to do is, you know, not just trying to push our chronological age, but really uh, is increase our lifespan. It's about the quality of life. It's not about the pharmaceutical industry keeping us alive from our first head, heart attack at 65 till 85. And yes, we lived another 20 years, but if we can't do what we want to do, what's the point really? So this is about quality of life. This is about, you know, uh, optimizing your health and finding fulfillment in life. I love that. It really is about quality because I, I love the way I live and I live a certain way because I love it, right? Mm -hmm. And if I can't do the things that I love, not saying I'm going to commit suicide, I don't want to die or anything like that, but I, it, it, ta it takes away something from me. And it, it, my friends and I, we always say to them, you know, when I wake up in the morning, one of the first things I think about is what time do my schedule can I train? And <laughs> it can be crazy. That's like one of my first thoughts. Like, it's really insane. Yeah. Right. And so, but that's something that I love. That's something I enjoy. I also play guitar. You know, the other things that I do is everybody can see the guitar behind me mm -hmm. with the Jamaican flags, right? So these are things that I love. So that's part of life is like actually not just surviving, but optimizing. And with you saying optimizing, and that's why we biohack, I am familiar that you actually do have a, I guess you want to say a pill that enhance mental clarity and physical performance. So that's now we're getting into how we can optimize. Tell us about that. Yeah, that just, I mean, it's many of the different ways we need to biohack because in my book, I talk about seven foundational biohacks. Um, but uh, when it comes to the pill, one of the biohacks is upgrading our mind, right? Because our mind controls our body. Our mind also creates our future. It's in charge of our failure, our success. So biohacking or upgrading the mind is probably the most important biohack. And so during the pandemic, uh, I ended up talking to hundreds of people per week with uh, symptoms like, you know, anxiety, depression, PTSD, ADHD, and those types of things. And yes, there's drugs called smart drugs and therapies out there. But talking to so many of them during the pandemic, I really realized there was a much uh, larger underlying cause. And it was most of these people didn't have a purpose in life. They were just going with the motions, working eight to five, extra work from the bus, coming home or rushing home, getting the kids to soccer, uh, dealing with the significant other and never be able to catch up and wondering what tomorrow will bring next week, next year, etc. And so when I put myself in that uh, scenario, I would be worried and fearful too and uncertain, which then translates in all those mental conditions, anxiety, depression. So really in my latest book, I really talk about not just about health and biohacking and upgrading, but also about the foundation of you need to live your purpose. You need to find your purpose and you need to regain control of your calendar, your agenda and your life because control creates clarity and clarity reduces stress. So many times when I help my mentees with their purpose and then regain control of their life and their calendars and setting goals and plans, suddenly all those mental conditions disappear without drugs and without a therapist, right? Uh, but when you talked about the mental aspect and nootropics, that's when I start really looking into it because a lot of these people I was talking to, they were on Wellbutrin, uh, Ritalin, and many of them on Adderall. And talking to them, yes, it helps them getting into the zone, getting them to focus and produce or, you know, avoid procrastination. So it doesn't, it does seem that it does help a lot of people. But, you know, when I look at the insert of the medications, you look at all these long-term side effects, increased heart rate, increased risk of heart disease, psychosis, seizures. I mean, I cannot recommend it to anybody. So that's when I took it upon myself to look for natural alternatives. And so the natural alternatives to smart drugs are called nootropics. So it's basically safe supplements that do the same thing. It's help with focus, help with, help 
with memory and avoid or eliminate distractions around you. And so there's many uh, uh, Chinese herbs, uh, Ayurvedic medicine and uh, products out there today that help with that. And one of the products that I recommend to people with ADHD and those types of conditions or even top athletes to get that edge uh, of that extra little focus is uh, called Focus Plus. And Focus Plus basically has four natural ingredients. The uh, main ingredient is called BioCitroid. It's a patented uh, terpene from a, a specific type of blood orange, which is a citrus fruit in the southeast region of Asia. And what we found that at 30 milligrams of, or higher, that BioCitroid is able to cross the blood-brain barrier. In other words, it works pretty quickly, like in 30 minutes, Versus many supplements, as you know, takes a week to build up in your system and then hopefully have a positive effect. So what we did is we added three synergistic uh, ingredients to the biocitroid. Number one, L-tyrosine, which, as you know, is an amino acid that has been proven to help with memory and focus. Uh, we also added phenylalanine, which is a um, neuroagent. Uh, which also helps with photographic memory, focus, and those types of things. And then the last one we added was phosphatidyl, uh, which is known uh, to be in our body, in our fat cells, but also in the fat of our brain cells. And phosphatidyl, according to scientific research, stimulates NGF, nerve growth factor, uh, which then helps with uh, stimulate the formation of new brain cells, neurotransmission, and those types of things. So what we have found that those four safe ingredients that don't cause any side effects or jittery effects they really are able to balance our five intelligence hormones and optimize those so that we can focus better and that we can get the job done. So uh, that's a topic that I have used to help many people off the drugs such as Adderall and also help many athletes trying to get a little bit of an edge when it comes to being in the zone. So what I'm hearing is that you first, you look at um, their lifestyle, what they do on a daily basis, because it's not just prescribing a pill to say, okay, you're within this range, you need this, or you're depressed, let me increase your dopamine. You know, you're actually looking at their lifestyles and things that they're doing, because you sound very similar to myself, where I feel like no matter what medication you take, if you're not improving the things that you do on a daily basis, it's going to be hard for you to truly have success. But then one, what you also look at, okay, they may also need some nootropics to help them as well, especially if they're already taking medication for mental health issues. Is that, does that sound right? Yeah. What? Well, yeah. So the drugs, of course, I got to get rid of. So, but they're kind of addicted to it and it's something that they, that they need to function even, uh, you know, during the day and produce something. So I want to replace it with something that's not harmful. And then I want to teach them on how to not have to use it. Uh, all the time and not dependent on it and then it then then we talk again about purpose why why are you anxious why are you depressed because you're not in control of your life let's regain control of your life of your agenda of your goals and plan surround yourself with the people that you need to achieve your goals and your dreams and then implement tips and strategies to focus again and to be productive because we got away from you know basic stuff for example if i ask uh, many people like okay if you have homework or if you have a project to work on uh, where do you do that? Oh, on the kitchen table or in front of the TV. I mean, seriously, step number one, designated work area at your home, at the office, close the door, tell people not to disturb you, uh, Get uh, turn this phone off. And so eliminate all distractions, physical uh, distractions. And so there's many things that we can do to, you know, uh, create an environment where we can focus and we can eliminate distractions. So then we're going to, you know, we, we get them from the drug to the nootropic, and then we're going to work on organizing their life, getting in control of their agenda, and creating situations where they are not distracted. And then they can even wean off that nootropic or only use it when they have to, you know, do a sales presentation or speak in front of 100 people, you know, or play a game because it may give you a little bit of an edge during those situations. But we never want to be dependent on, on something. We want to be in control of our dopamine, of the five intelligence hormones. And so that's what I teach people to do. I love that. I love that because like, I'm going to use this podcast as an example. Like right now, I, um, you know, my, my phone is on airplane mode, right? So I'm not texting while Dr. Mike is talking because, you know, your boy is not that rude, right? Sometimes I can be, sometimes I can be. 
But, you know, and then, you know, also I'm I'm in my office space. You know, this is where I conduct my podcasts. This is where mm-hmm. I do my work throughout most of the day. I'm not on my computer. I also, I, one of the big rules, and I learned this from Ben Greenfield years ago, is I don't work in my bedroom. My bedroom was the sleeping, That's you know? Right. So my, my mind associates my bedroom with sleep. It doesn't associate it with work. So I make sure I work in my office area. And that's it, right? I keep it that way. Now, sometimes I may go outside if it's nice, work outside, something like that. But I have designated areas for that. So those are just like Dr. Mike is saying, like some of the things that we can do to optimize ourselves, to optimize, to improve our lives. And then also we may need to add nootropics under his guidance as needed. And that's something that's important as well. Don't just say, oh, I'm going to start taking nootropics because I heard it is great. Because you want to take it under the care of a medical expert. That's extremely important because you can cause more problems by just going out there on your own. What do you think about that, Dr. Mike? Yeah, I mean, the ones I recommend to you really, really are not harmful. But still, you know, uh, the question is, do you need them? And for some for some people, it works well. I have mel- helped many people get off, uh, you know, AD uh, of the uh, Ritalin and put them on focus plus and uh, many athletes benefit from it but for some people it doesn't work at all so you just need to try it you know different people respond to different things so for your listeners they always get a free sample of the focus plus at trysmartpill.com just go to the website trysmartpill.com get a free sample try it if you like it great if not you know don't waste your money <laughs> Perfect. I was typing this out, trysmartpill.com, because I'll make sure that that's also going to be in the show notes as well, because that's extremely important for people to understand and something that can help. Um, and again, I, I do say, you know, when you work on some, the, the benefit of working with somebody like Mike is he's seen so many different scenarios and not just yours. So um, if, it, if it doesn't work in your situation at jump, he, he should be able to make some adjustments that can help it to work as well. And there may, and there, there may, it may be a lifestyle thing. It may be a dosage thing. It, it may be a historical thing that we really don't know. But working with Mike is something that can help you with that. But and I have a lot more to talk about because I'm going to dig deeper into the stuff that he's talking about. We're going to get more into the mind and more into mental clarity and more into optimization. But before I do that, I want to talk about optimizing something else. I want to talk about optimizing your performance in the gym. Everybody knows that's what your boy is about, right? Your boy, I go in there and I crush it every day. I go hard in the playground. So I'm going to talk about perform. Look at that. Optimizing performance, right? Wonderful. Amino code, they make perform. See, their products are 100% science backed built on amino acid technology that was first funded by NASA, further refined through rigorous research and independent clinical trials. So PERFORM is an EAA, essential amino acid-based formulation. And we were talking about amino acids just a while ago, right? Designed to improve muscle performance during exercise, enhance mental clarity and concentration, reduce fatigue and dehydration, and help you to and reduce recovery times, right? Now, how is Perform so awesome? Because I absolutely love it, and I use it every single time before I train. I use it more as a pre-workout because it has essential aminos. It has creatine, where these have been studied for years and decades on the performance. And when we talk about essential, I'm not talking about just branch-chain aminos. I'm talking about essential aminos. So all the essential aminos that your body can produce, plus the um plus the creatine and we know creatine has been studied for mental performance physical performance for so many years i mean it's one thing that i think pretty much every lifter should have in their in their in their routine is creatine and it only has about 60 milligrams of caffeine per serving some people say oh that may not sound like enough well if you're used to dousing 300 400 milligrams of caffeine which caffeine is not bad but that's a whole lot of caffeine and that may not be well for you so i just kind of double up on perform sometimes and i go like 120 milligrams of caffeine but the combination of that with the creatine essential aminos helps you to 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 break through your workout because you don't need as much caffeine to do so and that's why i absolutely love it i i don't feel jittery like i would usually do when i drink pre-workouts with just just a bunch of sugar and a bunch of caffeine and the essential aminos and the creatine also helps the digestion to you um through your system so i absolutely love it and i drink it pretty much six days a week because your boy trains six days a week now the ingredients in Perform have been clinically proven to improve strength and physical performance. And check out these trials. 20% increase in exercise completed. 22% increase in endurance. 11% increase in peak performance during exercise. 
10% improvement in cognitive function doing exercise. Tell you this, your boy's been bulking, right? And, you know, I'm 41 years old and I'm trying to prove that my body can still operate as if I'm in my 20s. And today I hit my max on my workout weight for the first time. Um, my my new max pretty much on my workout weight. And I was and what did I drink before? I drank perform. Now, of course, I have a nutrition protocol and there's certain different other protocols as well. So it's not just perform, but it's an awesome tool to have in your toolbox. Something else about it is that they have all natural flavors, which I love as well, because it's all about gut health. It's all about gut health. So the all natural flavors are definitely my favorite and they taste amazing. Now, the website is aminoco.com slash Zico Health is going to give you 30% off all the amino based products. And of course, I'll make sure that the uh, the link is in the description of the episode. So now we're talking about, we just talked about in the gym, physical performance, mental performance, but now we're going to circle back to everyday life, right? Everyday life performance. So Dr. Mike, something I was thinking about as you were talking, because a lot of times I've, I'll hear people say, you know what? That sounds great. That sounds like it could work but I don't think it's going to work for me. <laughs> what do you have to say to people like that? Well, you know, that's mindset, right? Uh, when I talk about, you know, my latest book is called The Isolt Method, In the Zone, On Demand. And it talks a little about biohacking, but I talk about the seven foundational biohacks. And number seven is the mindset. And usually I start immediately with mindset because we all have these uh, false core beliefs and we really start to have to we need to eliminate those false core, false core beliefs like because we base our, our experiences on on the past right if we failed in the past we think we're going to fail again and we draw from the past and what we need to do is we need to set goals and we need to look into the future and we need to break those goals down and we need to be pulled forward by the future and so we need to uh, work on our belief system and uh, that's a very important thing to do because if you if you have any doubt in your mind that you are going to succeed or fulfill your dreams, then the universe has two options, failure or success. If you have no doubt in your mind that you will succeed, then the universe only has one option, a big win. And so working on that mindset, on that belief system. Uh, with all kinds of tools like manifestation, visualization, breath work, uh, technologies like brain tap, uh, gratitude journaling, those types of things are all helpful to really get into the right mindset, tap into the different brain waves and be in control of your body and in control of your future because your mind is the blueprint for your failure or, or your success. It's the blueprint for your future. So we can talk about the physical body all we want, but if you think you're going to fail, you are most likely going to fail. So the mindset needs to be there from day one. And so people that always have excuses or, you know, uh, relate to the past where they failed or didn't succeed, you know, we immediately got to change that mindset around. I do that with athletes, entrepreneurs, but even with people. I now have a Parkinson's patient and a cancer patient that I'm helping. And so when you're a patient, you get labeled. Uh, you're a cancer patient, you have cancer, you have Parkinson's, and that label consciously or unconsciously is with that person 24-7. And if they believe they're eventually going to die from cancer, guess what? They will. So we got to really, you know, get rid of that label cancer patient and make it, no, you're not a cancer patient. You're going to be a grandfather and you're going to see your grandkids grow up and you're going to see them, you know, evolving in their life and graduating and getting married. And so that's the picture we got to paint pulling from the future, not pulling from the past and changing that labeling and changing that mindset. And it's prob probably the most powerful thing that we have to do with patients, athletes, entrepreneurs, and ourselves. I have read studies and I'm sure you have as well. And even heard of other studies where you tell doctors will tell two different patients, um, you have a certain amount of time to live six months or whatever. And then the patients that have a positive mindset live for way longer. And then the person that has the negative mindset is, oh my gosh, I don't know what to do. And they worry, die actually under the time that the doctor predicts. Yeah. The mind is that blueprint, right? The mind is very powerful. And something else I was thinking about as you were talking, a lot of times we focus on the we focus on the past. But one of the big differences is that in the past, you may not have had the tools you have now. So if I had a toothbrush back then and I was trying to build a house. And now you give me, um, you give me a tractor. Oh no, I'm not a 
not a, I don't know how to build houses, but you know what yeah. I'm saying? You give me a chapter, right you give me tools, yeah. stuff in you give me my tools, right? And now, but I'm going to sit here and go, well, it didn't work in the past. Well, in the past, you had a toothbrush. So you didn't have the right tools to build a house, but now you have the tools to build a house. So why are you going to sit here and tell me, oh, it didn't work before, but because your, your mindset, that's the only thing that hasn't changed. Yeah. And that's a good point you make. And I can add something to that, right? It's uh, it's this saying, and probably everybody heard this before. If, you're, if your dreams are not scary, they are not big enough, which is true. But if they are scary, guess what? Then we're overwhelmed and we think we can't attain them. And that's why it's so, so important to make a plan. Let's say you want to you know, run a world record in, in uh, the 2028 Olympics. So that's like five years away, right? Well, now we got to break that down. In five years, I want to win and I want to have a world record. In four years, I need to be here. Three years, two years, one year, you know, and then break it down in months and weeks. And tomorrow, I need to make this small incremental step that is attainable, that gets me to that big goal in five years. But we need to break it down, otherwise we're overwhelmed. So it's breaking it down. And then we know we're going to have hurdles to take. But when we know the plan and we know where the finish line is, then those hurdles or obstacles, they become opportunities. They become stepping stones. And then we're going to attack them versus throwing your hands in the air and say, oh, it's not meant to be, or I can't do this. It's because we don't have direction. We don't have a goal. We don't have a plan. We're not surrounded with the people that we need on our team to achieve our highest potential. And so those are the things that we need to do. We need to create that clarity, that plan, having the right people and break it all down in attainable incremental steps that we can take every day so we can be passionate. We can get up with a mindset like, Let's get and attack that hurdle because I want to be a step closer to where I want it to be. And so that mindset, it's based on direction and planning and goals versus if you're not going where, if you're not sure where you're going and there's a hurdle, then we automatically give up. So, um, so that's very important too. If you know where you're going, there's no stopping. Right. If you know where you're going, you know, stopping. I like that. I like that. It's funny. You say that if you, um, if your dreams are not scary, scary, you're not, you're not, uh, you're not thinking big enough, but at the same time, if your dreams are scary, they could also be overwhelming, which yes, goes so back to break it about, down. Yeah. Right. It goes back with what you're we're talking about with tools, right? When you have the right tools and you start to use those tools, those dreams may actually seem less and less scary. And that could be anything like you were saying. I mean, not everybody's an athlete, right? But, you know, anything performing arts, salespeople, entrepreneurs, businessmen, it doesn't matter. You know, you all have your goals and your dreams, uh, make yeah. them big enough and then break it down. I know a lot of people who start, who try who say, you know what, I want to learn how to play the guitar and they'll do it for a week or two or a month. And then they give up because they're like, this is too hard. You know, I was sitting there <laughs> with my friend for two, for like two hours yesterday. And uh, we we're talking about music theory. It took me a long time to grasp that, yeah. to grasp that, uh, that that particular idea of music theory. But I kept at it because it's a mindset thing versus just saying, you know what, I'm never going to get it and just move on. It's a mindset or it's your coach or your instructor, right? So, so if I was, and I don't know anything about guitar, but if I'm a guitar teacher, I would say, okay, you know, Zico, it's your first lesson today. Where do you want to be? What do you want to do? I want to I want to play at this level. I want to be in a local, in a Jamaican rock band, whatever it is. Okay, when do you want to accomplish that as soon as possible? Well, let's be realistic. Let's let's take three years. Now we're going to break it down from year to year. And then, okay, so next week I want you to play Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Okay, that's where we're starting. But that will be an incremental step. And that will be something that's attainable. And now we know we're a step closer. And then, you know, uh, you know, in three weeks, I want you to play at least the chorus of knocking on heaven's door, right? <laughs> so we gotta make those, uh, we gotta make those steps. And now it becomes attainable. And before you know it, three years passed by and you're an awesome guitar player, right? I mean, no, you're right. The first thing I play, I do if, you know the um I'm sure everybody has heard like do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do, right? So those are scales on the piano, on the guitar, on Western yeah. music. So whenever I pick up a guitar, my guitar, after tuning, that's the first thing I do. Yeah. I go through my scales, you know, and a lot of people don't do that or some people don't do that. But when, but because I was grounded with my teaching and I learned those things, I'm able to go through and just learn my scales. So now if I want to create my own song or just play another song, I can just look at the song, oh, it's using this scale and I learned to play it very yeah. fast. Because I learned those basics, right? Because I had that mindset of I'm going to, I mean, I've been playing for a while, so it's not like, 
you know, but when I first started playing, I learned those basics and developed that mindset. And I'm just using that not to brag on myself, but to use it as an example of when you have the mindset of learning, it changes a lot. When you have the mindset of not just not talking all the time and, and just saying what Action. you're scared yeah. of and pushing your thoughts on people, but actually absorbing, it transforms your life and it, it transforms how you approach things and whether or not you are or aren't successful you know, in, in, in any kind of situation. But with that being said, I want to I want to talk to you a little bit more, Dr. Mike, about a couple of things before we get out of here. Because you were talking about nootropics and we're talking about the benefits of nootropics. And also, I need to get your website again because what is it? Trynootropics.com, is it? Uh, trysmartpill.com for a free sample. And my website is, uh, my personal website is biohackingunlimited.com. Perfect. Trysmartpill.com, biohackingunlimited.com. And of course, both websites are going to be in the show notes. We're going to be zikahealth.com slash nootropics. I'm going to keep it at that. Um, and of course, those show notes are going to be in the description of the podcast. But I want to talk about, let's say someone who's never tried nootropics before. I kind of want to end on that note here. So they go to your website, um, trysmartpill.com. What what should they do? Should they go and then try to request a sample and then try yeah, to change it with their sample. medication? Or? There's a free sample. It's only two pills when you get them. This is what I recommend. You take you take one before you're gonna go to work or gotta do something on a computer, something that you normally have a little bit of difficulty with, difficulty with focusing, right? Or whether it's going to work out in the gym, and you take it, you know, a half hour before the one pill. If after 30, 40 minutes you don't feel any difference, take the second one right away, and then you'll see that once you do the workout or once you start working on your project or your homework, you'll find that you may be a little bit more focused. And if if you have that feeling that you perform better, you know, then you can order a little bit more and see uh, if this is something that that helps you. If it doesn't do anything for you, I wouldn't recommend you know buying them. But you can try them for free. Uh, you get two pills. And you can take, uh, you know, take one, see if it works. If not, take the other one 30, 40 minutes later and use them both and see if it does something for you. It's that simple. But you don't have to worry about interactions with any drugs or about jittery effects or about any side effects. So, you know, anybody can try it. It's 100% safe. Perfect. And that's what I was going to get at, because I was saying earlier about working with a medical expert, but you're clarifying that even outside of working with a medical expert, um, nootropics can be beneficial for you because there aren't any known side effects or any like cross issues that we may have to worry about with medication. So then with let's this say specific that supplement, some supplements you may have to be careful with this specific one, you're fine. Again, it's all about dosing too. Don't take uh, 10 at the same time, right? Just, just follow the instructions on the bottle. <laughs> you can kill yourself drinking too much water. So again, <laughs> that's right. I made a joke to someone one time that you can actually drown yourself in water. So there yeah, you go. So um, no, so, so my next thing, is, let's say I go on the website, try smartpill.com. I take a couple, I'm like, wow, this really is amazing. Right. Then is the next step going to biohackingunlimited.com to order more? No, you, from there, you the try smartpill.com. I I'm pretty sure you can buy them from there too. I don't own the company. I have no interest in the company. Uh, it's just uh, something that I recommend to, to some of my patients and some of the athletes I work with. Uh, so, uh, Claritin Z health is the actual company that produces the uh, the Focus Plus. But I'm sure that on the trysmartpill.com, you get a free sample, but you also can purchase the uh, the product if you uh, if you want to have more. So what's the next step that far as, let's say someone, you could just say your website is biohackingunlimited.com. So mm -hmm. at what point should someone say, hey, I want to work with this guy. Um, I, I want to check out your website. Yeah, so on the website, we got everything. We got all my books. I have uh, mentorship programs. There's different levels of mentorship and coaching. So you can check it out. There's videos, there's information. You also can schedule after you do that, can schedule a free 20 minute Zoom call with me to, to ask me questions and see how I can help you out. Uh, there's a keynote speaker page, page. I do a lot of uh, uh, keynote and motivational speaking. And so everything that you might need is on my website, biohackingunlimited.com. And I'll be happy to be a helping hand in your journey. Perfect. That's what I was getting at, Doc. That's exactly <laughs> what I was getting at, Doc. I just want to make sure that people are clear of what, what, where, where our steps are here, right? And with that being said, I'm going to change it up a little bit. I'm going to put both uh, sites in the show notes, but because I'm a little bit creative, I'm going to go with zikahealth.com slash 
biohacking unlimited or maybe i'm not that creative you know i just like to steal the words from the website but whatever it is what it is but of course the website's going to be in the description of the episode and with that being said dr mike do you have your book with you i want to see your book again yeah i got many books i got eight books but this is my last one it's the isolt method so here we talk about purpose about getting in control of your daily life about improving focus and productivity freeing up valuable time and biohacking upgrading the mind to body and your life that's what i'm talking about isn't that the best way to end this thing that's, that's right. I, I just feel like it is you know maybe it's my ego talking i don't know but i feel like it's the best way to end this thing i would with call it being... common sense zico common sense that's what we all should want right yeah common sense is not that common my friend no, but you know rare. that's not <laughs> <laughs> but with that being said thank you for being here thank you everybody for listening thank you so much for watching we're out for the day fam